how's it going? If you are new here, my name is Taylor. This is Wild Wonders Homestead. Today I'm going to show you my, I guess it's a clearance Lowe's and Walmart plant haul. Um, most of this is from Lowe's. All this week I've been having to travel out of my local area like an hour away from here and the place I've been going to every day is right next door to a Lowe's. So I've been going there every morning um, and this particular Lowe's has chef's kiss of plant clearance. All, all of their plants are very healthy um, compared to others that are in their clearance section. You see most of these back here, you don't really even see any dead. There's a couple little late leaves at the bottom, but I'll go through those one by one, show you what I have, and tell you how much I paid for it. So uh, one thing about me is I like to save money. You won't catch me bragging about how much I spent on something, but you will hear me bragging how much I've saved. Um, all of these plants that I have behind me are clearance. I plan on making some Mother's Day arrangements that for presents and I'm going to use some of these for that as well. So I'm going to start with the two plants that I got from Walmart um, just because really they're in the front and they look the, ru the roughest. They look the worst. So these are called Bumbleberry Pie and they're a Dianthius. If I hopefully I said that correctly. That is what they look like. This has a lot of like spent blooms. I'll just clean these up before I plant them. I pretty much have my eye on perennials right now. There's a couple things that are not, but that's really what I'm looking for. I have a lot of spaces that I'd like to fill out, a lot of um, things that have never been planted. So I will clean these up and plant them somewhere. I have two of those and they both wore, were $3. Okay, next, I don't have very many of these, but I do have two of these. I don't know if these are petunias, so I'm not sure, but they were only $2, so I got two of them. They're beautiful pink color. And then I also got them in a white. Same thing, $2, it retailed for $4.98, so that's a pretty good deal. I did get one of these. It's called Silver Carpet Big Ears. It is a perennial. It's a mounding perennial. Retailed for $7.48. I paid $4 for that. And if you look at it, that's a pretty healthy plant for clearance. There is, you can see there's a little dead underneath there that I can easily peel off. And this, you wouldn't even know that it was over there. So I was happy to pay the $4. I'm telling you, I bought uglier, worse shaped plants for more. Um, I did get one of these, gorgeous. Um, it is called a Blizzard Sandwort. It is a mounding perennial as well. And it is retail for $7.48 and it was $4. It has this beautiful little light purple flower. So I'll plant that somewhere. Okay, next I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six of these. Mandeva, man, Mandeva, Villa, Mandevilla, Mandeva, Mandevilla. Oh, I don't, I'm not saying this right. I know I'm not saying it right. Ugh, my friend Brittany told me how to say it correctly earlier and I don't remember. I, I want to say it's a Mandeva, <laughs> a man, Mandeville, Mandevilla. It's a Mandevilla. Mandevilla? I hope that's the correct way. I don't think it is, but that is the name. This was $4 as well. Um, and these looked far better, but we had a really bad storm come through last night and they beat these to shreds, but still for $4 for a clearance plant, this alone just as is great condition. Um, and it looked better than that. And all of them looked that good. I did get six of these. I do plan on putting these specifically in the arrangements. And then I also got four of these plants they are a perennial it's an upright perennial it's called a red dragon four dollars it does have a little more um dead at the bottom but still has buds that haven't bloomed has flowers already on there i did get four of those if you can see them back behind me and another thing i like to do when i'm in a new city and i have to kill some time is look up free things so I have a few larger windows um, over in storage that I hope to one day make make a window greenhouse just because it's materials that I already have. So I picked up this window 
for free. It was missing one corner panel of glass. But if you see, they're all missing up there. That's because I could not fit it in the vehicle that I drove. So I had to do some maneuvering slash disassembling to get it in the car, but we got it here. So that's a great deal. Two other things I did get, um, I'll have to go get a clip of them once I put them up, but I got a clearance door from Lowe's, which I really needed for 10 bucks. It retailed for 80. That was such a steal because I really needed a door so bad. It's an interior door. And then I also got a sheet of wood paneling that I wanted to use to patch a spot in the ceiling. And that was on clearance for $5 because it had damage. So if you hold out and have the patience, you can find so many good things um, on clearance if you just wait it out. I really learned that last year um, at the end of the season when I got so many plants that I wanted to get but couldn't afford half price at the end of the year. So don't forget to look at your clearance. It's always worth it to check it out. And I will catch y'all next time. I'll probably be planting these in one of my next videos. So you'll have to stay tuned to check that out. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.